you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'd like to always start off by um, acknowledging and thanking those of you who join us on YouTube and who um, give us um, comments. The comments are very, very um, encouraging, and I think they also um, minister to other people who who take the time to read the comments. So I, I just thank you and appreciate all all of the comments and the fact that you do join us and follow us on YouTube. I have some unusual things to um, share today, but I'm going to start off giving you the definition of some words. The first one is astronomer. Astronomer is a person who is skilled in astronomy or who makes observations of celestial bodies. A person who is skilled in astronomy or who makes observations of celestial bodies. Then I want to give you the definition of astrology. Astrology is the study of the positions and motions of celestial bodies and the belief that they have, the celestial bodies have an influence on the course of natural earthly occurrences and human affairs. That's they believe. And let me give you the definition of um, divination. Divination is the art or act of foretelling future events or revealing occult. The word occult means hidden. They use demons or supernatural beings to give them information that they have, they're able to give hidden knowledge by means of augury. Augury is another word for divination or omen or a sign, things to come. So in Deuteronomy 18, <clears throat> the Lord tells us not to have anything to do with, with divination. I wasn't planning on <clears throat> giving this scripture. <clears throat> it says in verse uh, 10, There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter or a witch and our charmer, or consulted with familiar spirits, because that's how people are able to perform divination. Um, they consult with a um, demonic entity, which is a familiar spirit, and that is a group with wizardry, witchcraft, and the like. So, when people try to um, use the stars, um, and celestial bodies to predict the future or foretelling, they doing it by way of a familiar spirit and that's called divination. But let's turn to um, Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 1, and let's look at verse 14. God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years, 
and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give lights upon the earth. And it was so. So God created the stars, the moon. If we read on, it says in verse 16, it says, And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And, and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good. So the Lord gave the stars, the moons, the sun to be lights, to be a sign and to be for seasons. So the people understood the first human beings on the earth that was created by the Most High understood how to discern the seasons and what time it was based on the stars, the moon, and the sun, and how they moved uh, in the earth. And then the enemy, and I've shared this before, between the, um, the Julian and the Gregorian calendar changed the times. They, they even wiped out 10 days worth of time. So one day it was one day, um, one time or date on the calendar, and the next day it was 10 days later. So you can research all of these things, and you really do need to become a person who educate yourself because when you um, enrolled in the educational system as we've known it today you you are plugging yourself into a matrix and there's so many different matrix to make up the whole global matrix and a lot of, someone was a, left a comment that they were offended sort of that I keep referring to the fact that we've been lied to because power of life and death is in the tongue, but people need to realize that not everybody is tapping into this video or my teachings on the same day. And so it might be someone new who finds this video or find my channel for the first time. And so I'm not saying, and to be honest with you, we have been lied to, but we are continue to be lied to. The truth is not, not out there like it should be. So we have to rely on and press into the Most High to continue to reveal things to us as, as the Spirit wills. So I want you to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 because in the New Testament it also refers to the celestial bodies. And God makes a determination between divination, astrology, and astronomer. It's a difference between all three of those things. Even though the people who call themselves psychic uses astrology on some level to be able to foretell or predict the future. Um, things like the, um, zo um, the astrology that's usually in the newspaper, the signs of what sign you were born on and all of that. We don't need to get caught up and all of that because I think that f that falls into the category of witchcraft or divination. So in chapter 15 of 1 Corinthians verse 38, and I don't have a lot today, I don't believe, I say that often, but the Holy Spirit has a different mind. God, in verse 38 it says, God gives it a body as it has pleased him to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, like we just got through reading about in Genesis, and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars, and one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. Everything on this earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of the various kinds of bodies, human beings, everything that God created and nothing evolved, through a big bang it was all created by the most high God and he created everything to bring glory and honor to him 
and the enemy has been for eons trying to destroy and pervert and distort everything that was created to bring glory and honor to the Lord so that now human beings, which is supposed to be the highest order of bringing glory and honor to the Lord because we were made in His image. The enemy is on a campaign right now to try to bring uh, total <laughs> perversion and destruction to the next level of trying to jab people that would be able to change your DNA. Now there's something about to take place that most of us who, who's been religious <laughs> are, are unaware of. And I, I'm not a prophet and I don't know what's going to happen. All I can do is give you all information. Today is Saturday, which is <laughs> Saturn day. <laughs> um, and that's strange in and of itself because when the Lord created the days, he says day one, the first day, the second day. He didn't give them names. The names that were given is a whole nother study that I don't want to get into today. But I'm going to give you, and I hope we can get this video posted today so that you will have, from to, you will have today and tomorrow to research this information. Because all over the internet, it's... Um, it's being promoted that something is going to happen between the 18th and the 21st of December. But the major thing that is supposed to occur is supposed to occur Monday the 21st UTC time, which is universal time, which would be five hours um, ahead of Eastern Standard Time. So 6 o'clock UTC time is supposed to be a conjunction, which would be, five, which would be 1 o'clock Eastern Time. The December 2020 Great Conjunction, um, you all can look this up on, on the internet. It's all over the internet. Um, the December 2020 Great Conjunction. It says the year... It says the year um, 2020 will end with a special astronomical event. Everybody, all of the movies and and series that we've been seeing over the years has been talking about. They even made one that was called The Event. And everyone now is talking about a reset, a reset. They claim that there are two resets, that the two forces are warring against each other. One is a reset to bring people into a, a global um, republic. Let me tell you what a republic is before I finish what I'm trying to get to say. And hope, hope I don't lose my thought. A republic is a form of government in which the country is considered a public matter, not the, pri not the private concern or property of rulers. America was supposed to be established in the beginning as a republic, which would be for the people. The people, the, the citizens were supposed to have been in control of what happened to them. But in 1917, the United States became a corporation, which means that the Congress and the Senators work for the corporation. And the President was the President of a corporation. And they did not work for us. The people, what they did was took rulership over the people. So. You got two, um, two things happening where they're talking about reset. One reset is supposed to bring us into total more domination, being ruled and overlords by evil, which would take the jab. No one would be able to buy or sell unless they take the jab, even though the government is telling you you not you not we not going to mandate you to take the jab, but you not going to be the corporation's going to mandate you to take the jab, and then you got another reset going on. Another people promoting resets. You got two different groups of people promoting resets. One group is the group I just told you about. The other group is saying that the whole world is going to come back to be to being a republic which means that the government that we know of today is being dissolved. 
and they claim that because the government is being dissolved that this is why we are seeing all of the confusion with the um, nuclear stuff being hacked, corporate, um, um, Fortune 500 companies being hacked, um, the election, nobody knows who is who, that this is all a script that is being acted out on the on the good side. So it's a good and a bad side, I guess I could refer it to that. A good reset and a bad reset. Either way you take it, a reset is coming. And which one ends up winning is the one that that the that the globe will be um submitted to. So um with the with all of this being scripted out it's, it's for the purpose of waking people up to realize that they've been manipulated, controlled, and influenced and deceived, just like I told you last week, by a matrix. Everyone was born into a matrix, but we were supposed to have been born into a republic because God didn't create us to be controlled by tyranny. So on the 21st of Dece on the 21st of December of this month it's supposed to be a conjunction between two celestial bodies what they telling us are planets the planet Saturn and the planet Jupiter and those two are going to come together and they're going to be 0 0.1 degrees off from just being totally um one on another so in the sky when you look at it it should be look like one big big star which people are saying would be the star of Bethlehem and this the last time this happened was in 1623 but in this particular time it's going to go into what they call the Aquarius so you got the people who worship Saturn or Satan who practice astrology as their religion, they are all giddy and excited because for years you've heard people like Aleister Crawley and Anton LaVey and Alex, Alice Bailey and Helena Blavatsky and all of those people talk about the age of Aquarius. There was even a song came out by the fifth dimension called the age of Aquarius and everybody was singing the age of Aquarius or the dawn of the age of Aquarius. So, and I think that was back in the 60s or 70s. Anyway, we're at the point now where this is about to happen. Something is going to happen on Monday. I don't know what it is. I heard um, someone speaking yesterday that the Lord told them on Tuesday that um, without them knowing anything about any of this, that uh, God was coming for his people on the 21st. This isn't me. This is what I heard someone else say. This conjunction or these two um, planets being together is supposed to last for at least two years. Now we have um, Bill Gates saying that everything has to be locked down for two years. Okay. Now I don't know. I don't follow all. Of, I don't follow astrology and stars or any of that stuff. I'm just giving you all information for you to look up, for you to be aware, for you to be prayerful because I've been thinking and praying and saying for a long time that we know that the Bible as it's been given to us is being changed quantumly right, in, right while it's in our hands. If you know the scriptures, you know that there are scriptures that has changed like wine skin changed from skins to bottles as one example, two men in the bed, um, um, and one leaving and one's taken, that's another, because it used to say two in the bed, not two men. So we know something is happening with time, with respect to time. We know something is happening with respect to quantum. They're supposed to be with the reset, and while we are globally locked down, when we come back online, we're supposed to be operating with a quantum computer. Quantum finances, quantum banking, crypto coins. Okay, so this is something I'm putting this up there for you to look at, um, for you to research. Um, and I told you about the Act of um, 1871 formed a corporation. The United States became a corporation. This is a really, really um, interesting um, thing to look up, how it explains how the corporation was 
um, formed and how it changed in 1998-1999. So these are the things that um, that we need to be aware of because the people who practice what I was going to say, the people who practice astrology have, and the people who practice witchcraft and the occult, they knew that this date was coming on Monday, the 21st. So much, it's such a big event that they've locked down the whole world and kind of came up with something that can possibly change people's DNA. And I, I love all people. No people is better or different than any of the other, but it's, it's suspicious to me that the people who was promoted in the, in the news media as taking the jab first was people of color, a person of color. And all of the doctors and everybody, I mean, the people who they're promoting first taking this are the people of color. And so what they believe about this event is that it's going to change you, you as a human being on your cellular level, that the ley lines of the earth is going to be activated and something is going to change. And with the jab, it's going to be able to connect you with technology. If you take the jab, it's going to make you into a Crimea where you will be part human and part animal. You, you look like the beast. You'll be part human and part Lucifer because the, the, one of the ingredients is some type of gel called Luciferase. So, Luciferase. So I want to give you a couple of scriptures and then I pray that you will be able to take this information, pray about it, and look up for yourself whether or not it's true. Whether or not it's true or not, you've been hearing me say for a couple of years to examine your hearts, to make sure that you are in the right place with the Most High, that there's no unforgiveness, there's no bitterness, there's nothing in you that will cause God not to be pleased with you. There's nothing you can do to make yourself holy or righteous with the Lord other than believing that he sent his son to be a payment for your sin. One of these injunctions took place when Christ was born. So that's another, that, that would be the Bethlehem star time. So this is a time that you should have plenty of water, candles, batteries, food, whatever you need, protection to be able to keep yourself safe because it seems as though on purpose that the world is being launched into chaos and confusion and that the government and the world that we've known is being dissolved. So let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. First Corinthians chapter 6. Look at verse 19. It says, Know you not that your body, your body, is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. This is what the enemy is trying to pervert and corrupt. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God. So your body and your spirit belongs to the Most High. That's what Jesus came to make available to you. Turn to Luke. Luke chapter 17. Anyone who stumbles upon this video, please take this information serious. And I pray that it stays up long enough for for the, for the people who the Most High would want to have this information to get a hold of it. Luke chapter 17. Everything we've been taught has been skewed and controlled. And now is the time that we should really get serious about who we are. That we can really be right with the Most High. A lot of things is going to be um, revealed that's been hidden. The scripture says that those things that was done in the dark shall be should come to the light. And a lot of people 
who don't know this information that I'm sharing with you, especially those who are part of our ministry, the Holy Spirit or the Most High has been having us to research this, these types of things since 2012. So a lot of people who, who will get this information for the first time or the things that's coming on the, on the earth, like the scripture says, men's heart faint for the things that's coming on the earth. A lot of people's hearts are going to um, faint because their foundation of what they've been taught to believe in is going to be destroyed. And they're not going to know what to do because the things that seemingly is about to be revealed is going to challenge people's faiths people's beliefs, people's understanding, people's foundation, people's crutch, and a lot of people who just don't have anything that they've leaned on, those people too are going to be shaken. Because the scripture says everything that can be shaken will be shaken. In Hebrews. So in Luke chapter 17 verse um, 20 it says, And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he, Jesus, or Christ, Yeshua, answered them and said, The kingdom of God comes not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there. For behold, and you need to remember this, the kingdom of God is within you. He, the kingdom of God is, is, is within us. His Holy Spirit is within us. We've been redeemed. We've been bought. Our bodies and our spirits don't belong to us. They belong to him. And we should bring glory and honor to him. So the enemy is trying to change us. Make us into something that God didn't create or intend for us to become. Don't, don't give up who you are. Don't give up your soul. And the only way you're going to be able to be saved from any of this, I'm not preaching a rapture because I don't get caught up in the rapture or not rapture. All I'm saying is that there is some kind of event that people believe is going to take place that the human beings globally is going to be affected by it. I don't know what that is. I'm not predicting what that is. I'm just trying to serve the Most High the best way I know and understand by telling people what I'm researching and what has come to me. What you do with it is up to you. I believe by faith that I belong to the Most High. I think that Babylon is falling, but it's not going to happen the way we've been taught that it's going to happen. Turn to Revelation chapter 14. I think Babylon was in full force and operating for all these years that we were looking for something to, to take place in a seven years of tribulation. I think we've, we've been going through something without understanding exactly what it was that we were going through. Let's look at Revelation 14, chapter, verse 6. It says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and town and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God. That means you need to have reverence and respect for God. And everything in the earth right now has been aggressively trying to move us away from believing in a creator God or having any honor or reverence or respect for him and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters isn't that something and there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen is fallen that great city became because she made all all the nations of the earth drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. So that so we at a point now where people who know these verses of scripture and see what's being reported in the earth right now 
is believing, and I don't know if it's true or not, it's very plausible that we are at this time in history. If we are, you need to be aware of these particular verses of scriptures in the Bible, and it's telling us, if you take this, you're going to experience the wrath of God, which is going to be eternal damnation and eternally being separated from the Lord. So it's up to the Most High to be able to do something to protect His people, to hide His people, whether it be Him just hiding us in our homes with angels around us. I don't know what the Most High is going to do because something is going to happen to activate things in the earth that we who belong to Him don't even know exist. But evil knows that it, 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 it exists. Am I making sense to you? All right, turn to Revelation 18. And let's look at verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, spiritual and natural fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich. The, I mean, the people who's doing all of the pedophilia and the um, human trafficking and all the evil things that's taking place, the scripture tells us that these things are going to happen. So, the people who have, the, 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 the nations that have done these things, reading on, wax rich through the abundance of her jealousy. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she has filled with fill to her double. How much she has glorified herself. You see, everything has been about bringing glory to the Babylonian system. And everybody getting rich at the expense of God's people and live deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and she shall see no sorrow. Isn't this something? Therefore shall her plagues come, underline, in one day. One day all of this can come tumbling down. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. They are saying that since March, all of our nuclear um, 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 stations have been um, con um, compromised. And this, our cyber security um, protection has been compromised. For strong is the Lord who is her judge. Strong is the Lord who is her judge. And the kings or presidents of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't think anyone really knows what is about to happen because the Most High is in control. But like I said, right now I know from research that there's a battle going on where there's two resets being promoted. One, the aim is going to be this, and the other is going to be a jubilee. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a false jubilee. I don't know. There's so much deception taking place, but we need to keep our, ourselves close to the Most High because He is faithful. He keeps his promises. He says that we can boldly say that he's our helper. He said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. That he would not leave us as orphans. So you need to keep your faith. Even though you see all of these things that's being reported and the things that we see manifest, continue to have faith and hope 
in the Most High that he keeps his word because he said he's the same God today, yesterday, and forever. He, do, he does not change. He's not a man that he should lie. He's a faithful, good, trustworthy God. So keep your faith. Keep hope. Just stay, just stay focused on him. All right? Thank you, Father.